But this is a POS. Really? I think. What do you so mean? we need to talk about how I can. Pull you want a later rod too? I'd like it. We can do that. Work it out. We're working out. Whatever. Let me uh, go out on my boat. I've only used one. Go out on the deck of my boat, and there's two rods on my deck. They're, they both got, there's two blackjack rods out there. Yeah. Grab the one that has the flukes on it and see if you like that one. Quick repair here for customer. Got to go back and scrape the old, scrape the old epoxy off. You got to be really careful with razor blades so you don't hit the blank. Normally they like to use regular epoxy on repairs. However, he wants it back today, so we're gonna use a five minute epoxy on it to get it knocked out. First thing you have to do is find a guy that fits. just to kind of hold it in place. Doesn't really serve any functional purpose after the wrap. This pretty much just holds it so you can tie it. You can see where the old guide was at right there. So you just got to kind of line it up to where the old one was at. Yeah, that's my style. That's right. more my style. I'll build you one. Huh? I'll build you one. It'll be probably the first next week, though, because I'm waiting on waiting on seats. I only had 10 handles left. We got them all on. Got them all. But I'll get it knocked out. What reel do you want to get? Yeah, lose up there. I'm going to get. We'll figure it out. We'll get a paper. All right. That works. All right. All right, buddy. Well, um. I'll have. You want to wait on this? No. <laughs> I mean, do you need it right now? No. Okay, well then I'll, then um, I'll regularly epoxy it then. That way I don't use five. I don't want to use five if I don't have to. Yeah, epoxy it. Um, mm -hmm. I need it. I'll have it if done. I'll it'll be done. It'll be done. Tuesday it'll be, next week. It'll be done tomorrow morning. It'll be dry in the morning. It'll, okay. It'll be done in, by the afternoon. Huh? Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right, dude. All right, we'll see you. you pack your thread tighter <clears throat> if you do when you go to epoxy it if it's not packed good it'll want to separate on you which is good it levels better clears dries clear it's just better to use it just takes longer to set up than the five minute obviously Animal, please. See. I'll be here see ya
two part epoxy. Just gotta make sure he makes it really good or else you'll have issues with the coloration of it. If I'm not clearing real, drying real clear. I learned that the hard way. You get some bubbles when you're mixing it. You can, what we do is you apply a little bit of heat after, after you put the epoxy on the guide. You apply a little bit of heat and it'll get most of those little bubbles out. Mm -hmm. Spinning. Yeah. A little bit of get a little base coat on there, kind of push a little more firm with the brush so it gets down in the threads good. Level it out. This uh, Pro Coat High Build, the nice thing about it is it uh, pretty much is a one one coat application. And it sets up fairly quick, which is a blessing and a curse. It's good because I find it easier to level out epoxy as it starts to harden. Same token, if you have a rod with a bunch of guides on it, um, by the time you get to your last guide, you're struggling for time as far as wanting to set up on you. So that's it. Once you apply, apply the coat of epoxy, pop the rod out. Try not to hit the one above it. Put it in the dryer. I'll let it sit overnight. Just up here. So, quick repair job on Sunday afternoon. Actually, that one right there's one we just did. Can't even tell which one we did. Yes, they did. They look brand new when they're done. So, it's uh, same functionality, maybe even a little bit tighter wrap job. So, need any rods repaired? Bring them up here to the shop. We're here seven days a week. Um, usually Sundays are the best days to, if you want to go over things with custom builds and stuff, Sundays and early weekday mornings. So um, right now, turn on times a day or two on most repairs, as long as it's only a guide or two. Um, a guide repair starts at 15 bucks per, um, and then $5 for each additional guide on a rod. So um, swing down here at Hunt Fish Paddle, check our back room rod building area and get your rod fixed. Order a custom rod. Anything you want, we can do it all. We'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Malachi's Outdoors uh, YouTube. He's got a blog too. He's got a blog on there as well. Make sure you check it out. Does a lot of unboxings and stuff, different tips and techniques. Um, he's been coming to the store now for a couple years. So um, we're going to try to get an episode here pretty soon with him in here. And uh, maybe we'll get him building some rods here soon enough. So check him out. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Um, be sure to give them a like, a share, and a follow. So, peace.